Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Doreni from VG247 and this is a quick dungeon guide for the new Grasp of Avarice dungeon or the Loot Cave. Honestly, this dungeon is actually quite straightforward and I do suggest that you do it blind because it is a lot of fun. There's a lot of things that happen that really made me and my fire team laugh. Anyways, go to Shulhan and get the dungeon quest to start. It's going to take you to the OG Loot Cave on the Cosmodrome. So, enemies are going to start spawning at the Loot Cave. These enemies are going to drop engrams once you pick up these engrams they have a debuff called burden by riches you can see that over there on the left how you cleanse that and how you progress this encounter is kill enough enemies collect enough debuff engrams and once you have enough and you're not gonna die go inside the cave there's a crystal right at the back go and stand right next to that crystal the crystal is gonna start growing and it's gonna get rid of that debuff rinse and repeat get the debuff cleanse and then a giant hole will open on the floor beneath you Get familiar with this mechanic burdened by riches is persistent throughout the whole dungeon. Continue forward and jump to your left. Kill the enemies, progress the path, then you're going to come to your first puzzle room. You want the door on the left, but be careful, there's a pressure plate on the floor that will kill you. This room is riddled with traps and spike doors. Pull that lever and it's going to open the door behind you on your left. Go through this tunnel system and jump across to the platform but move quick because it will fall down beneath you. Turn around and the platform on the left just underneath it there's a room. In that room there's a lever. Pull that lever and make your way back to the start of that puzzle room. What that lever has done is open the vents above you in the main room. We want the third one on the left so make your way up there. Jump up through the hole in the roof and just keep moving forward to the next encounter. Pull this lever in the room you're in and then go outside and jump to the only open vent on your left. Be careful of the spikes on the floor. Kill the enemies in here and then deactivate the lever at the back of the room. Head outside that room and jump to the only open vent on the right. Do the same thing here, kill the enemies in the room and then deactivate the lever. Head out of that room and jump straight across to the other side. Deactivate here and then look up and then jump up and deactivate the button in there as well. This button opens a big door behind the platform when you originally came into this puzzle room. Jump back across to the last room, kill the enemies there, deactivate and then go back outside, jump across and make your way towards the big room with the enemies. I completely failed this jump but in that room there's a button. Pull that button and then on the opposite side another big door will open. Make your way towards that big door. Kill the enemies in that room and then it's the door on the right that we need to progress through. Jump down and then jump over to platform 1 with the panel. Pull the lever of course, make your way to platform 3, kill the enemies there and then in that room there's a lever, pull that lever. There's also a secret chest in this room as well. You can see it right there, just jump up to your left. After you grab the chest, make your way over to platform 2 and kill the enemy there. That enemy is going to drop a Scorch Cannon. Bring the Scorch Cannon over to platform 4, shoot the thingy. But when you shoot the Scorch Cannon, charge it up. So shoot it and hold it for about the third click. So it holds the door open. Run up these stairs and run to the first little cove you can tuck yourself away in. Or you will get splattered by a giant barrel. Continue making your way forward and then it's time for our first boss. This boss is pretty straightforward. At the start, he is immune to damage completely. How we get to do damage to him is by killing the enemy with the Scorch Cannon. We need to use that Scorch Cannon to shoot the generator things above the doors on the left and right. Only one of these generators will be active at a time. Those doors will open and have enemies behind them. Kill the enemies and collect the engrams that they drop. Now we need to cleanse the debuff like what we did at the very start of the dungeon. So we need to find the crystal behind the ogre where we first jumped over into this boss room. That's where the crystal is. Cleanse yourself and then rinse and repeat on the other side by shooting the scorch cannon at the generator, opening the doors, kill the enemies, get the engrams, cleanse, rinse and repeat until it says the boss has succumbed to temptation. This is your DPS phase. Do as much damage as you can. Heavy weapons, snipers, the lot. Rinse and repeat until he is dead. Grab your loot and let's keep it moving. The next part is actually really fun, it's a sparrow race. Pull the lever on the left and just fly through the zones. You're gonna see like A, B, C. Try to make it to those zones as fast as you can. There are buttons that extend the timer. Try and hit those buttons if you can. Just keep following the route. It's pretty straightforward. It, it just takes a lot of skill and you guys know with sparrows, anything can happen and these enemies, man, they're too pesky. 
So just keep going forward. You don't actually have to stop and like capture the zone, just fly straight through it. I didn't make it, but eventually you'll get to the end into a place that looks like this. Jump up to your right and make your way through the room with the crystals. Then we'll go on to the next encounter. So in this room, the objective is to deactivate the big shield in the middle. This shield has a health bar at the bottom. There are five platforms around this massive room with booster gates to get you from platform to platform. These booster gates have no power and we need to charge them up to work. So we need to find the enemy with the Scorch Cannon and kill him to do so. We use the Scorch Cannon to charge up the generator. But before you charge up the generator, make sure the booster gate is aimed the right way by walking up to it and rotating it. Once it's aimed at the right platform, shoot the generator and don't release until you're in position. Once you're in position, release the trigger and you'll go fly into the next platform. Use this same mechanic to traverse through all of the platforms. Keep traversing through these platforms until you find a group of enemies with the barrier Servitor. Ignore the Servitor for now because he has an immune shield and go and kill the other enemies and collect the engrams they drop. You'll get the burden by Rich's debuff that you need to bring to the crystal inside the little hut thing. Do that enough times and the shield on the Servitor will drop. Kill the Servitor and he'll turn into a bomb ball? You need to roll that ball to the booster gate on that platform. Make sure the booster gate is aimed at the orange part of the fallen shield. Grab a scorch cannon from one of the enemies you killed on that platform. Power up the generator and it should send the bomb flying towards the fallen shield. Rinse and repeat this on all platforms. The last platform you end up on should be right beneath the fallen shield. Make sure you grab your loot and then power up that cannon and then go straight up. Make your way up and through and then we are at the final boss. This boss is a massive fallen captain who once again has an immunity shield and I think you already know by now what we need to do. This boss has two smaller named enemies helping him that you want to kill first, a sniper shank and some other hooded fallen. Kill those two and then you need to deal with the adds. Among those adds is an enemy with a scorch cannon. There are two generators on the left and right of the center section where the boss is. Shoot the generator that's not locked with the scorch cannon and then all around the arena engrams are going to start dropping. Collect all of those engrams and of course you're going to get the debuff bring that debuff to the crystal in the middle and then do the same again with the other generator grab the engrams bring them to the crystal until the crystal is fully formed and it says the boss has succumbed to temptation this is your dps phase you know the deal go all out use everything you've got if you don't kill him in one go rinse and repeat until he's dead Once he's dead, that is it. Congratulations, you have completed the Grasp of Avarice dungeon. If this guide helped you, let us know down in the comments. My name is Durani from VG247. Peace out, everyone.